These early risers were greeted by a breathtaking sight, a herd of bison grazing peacefully near their campsite. While the scene was undeniably picturesque, it's important to remember the potential dangers associated with being in close proximity to wild animals, especially mothers with calves. A sudden movement or loud noise could trigger a stampede. It's natural to be awestruck by encounters with wildlife, and admiring bison from a safe distance is certainly understandable. However, approaching them too closely or interfering with their behavior can be hazardous for both humans and animals. In a recent incident, an individual in the UK allegedly attempted to steal a vehicle. During their escape attempt, the vehicle became stuck between two parked cars. Following this, the individual reportedly drove onto a sidewalk and collided with a fence. Bystanders intervened to secure the scene and prevent further harm until authorities arrived. It's crucial to remember that traffic safety and respecting the law are paramount. Don't get there, don't get there, everybody. Engaging in reckless driving can have severe consequences, both for oneself and others. Living on the eastern shore means knowing the name Jim Cantor. His hurricane forecasts are legendary, etched in the minds of locals with a simple rule. See Jim, flee quick. But Jim's weather obsession goes beyond cyclones. This Boston snowstorm held a different kind of fury. And where there's extreme weather, there's Jim. As he confidently delivers his report, a blinding flash splits the screen. Oh yes, 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 we got it baby, we got it, we got it! Jim, struck by sudden lightning, falls to the ground. The rarity of thunder in such frigid conditions adds to the shock. This electrifying moment, captured live on TV, etched Jim's weather legacy in a whole new way. A fisherman filming his spear fishing experience encountered a shark in the water. The individual quickly surfaced and sought help, but due to the distance from the boat, assistance was unavailable. The shark approached and retreated several times before leaving the area. While the encounter likely caused significant fear and distress for the fishermen, it's important to remember that sharks are wild animals and interactions like this can be unpredictable and potentially dangerous. It's crucial to exercise caution and awareness when engaging in activities in shark-inhabited waters. Familiarizing yourself with local safety regulations and responsible practices is essential for minimizing risk and ensuring a safe, and respectful interaction with the marine environment. The twin paranormal team explores a museum filled with captivating, albeit unverified, tales of paranormal activity. Their search for the legendary Lady in Black leads them on a journey of speculation and intrigue. With one of these devices around us. What was that? Did you hear that too? Yeah. Just a little knocking. Yeah. Why are you here? Mm hmm Well, here. Well, what the f Group of us. Group of us. Voices. Voices. What? They encounter seemingly relevant responses, fueling their curiosity about the spirit's potential connection to a nearby clown figure. Group of us again. Clowns. You're so close. Something just tapped on the cloud. Come. The escalating tension culminates in a dramatic warning to flee, followed by the ominous presence of a claimed demon. I feel it. What does that mean? I feel something coming. Who approached us? Guys, guys, he said, Here I am. Something just. That was weird. That's a I see you, Orr twins! 
No. Way. Wait up. You guys got the threat. That's not... A man saw a clown sitting in the middle of a parking lot one evening while he was driving. He saw that the clown was carrying what appeared to be a weapon, a tire iron. As he got closer, the motor strangely decided to approach the creepy clown in spite of the unsettling appearance. The clown suddenly got to its feet and started running after the car as he got closer. The motorist was lucky to escape this frightening situation, but things could have turned out far worse. It's wise to avoid encountering a frightening clown carrying a weapon at all costs. Hopefully, this event has taught the driver an important lesson, and going forward, he will avoid these kinds of people carrying weapons. McKay Mansion harbors a malevolent shadow entity, and YouTuber Mackenzie Marie, along with her team, confronts this eerie presence in the residence. The encounter begins with the entity reacting simultaneously to ominous messages received on the spirit box. Fell. Fell. Like down the stairs? Didn't they say something about someone falling? Oh yeah, the guys on they, Ghost Adventures yeah, fell, fell down, down the, the stairs, stairs because of something in the attic. Yeah. That growled up down. That was the shadow yeah. man. Can you show me who growled? While using paranormal goggles, they perceive something that strikes them as far more than just a coincidence, identifying the image as the maid. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh my god. What Kelsey. was it? What was it, Jasper? What it what what is it? It's an elderly woman. Oh my god. Kelsey, it looks like the maid. There's Harriet right there. I can start that saying. is the maid. It Seriously? looks like that right there. Oh my Look. Dude, that looks just like the lady. The... There's something I'm else. It's the house. Again? It's the house. The house. Good evening. Good evening. Oh. It's nice to meet. Creepier messages follow leading to the team's decision to split up. Almost like she treats it like her daughter. Oh, Are you guys okay? The pair in the hallway encounters difficulty, reporting a sighting of a shadow figure dashing past. Should we go in? Are you good? Are you yeah, okay? We were about to walk out and I saw a full on shadow like run by next to the cowboy the prop. Yeah. So we should go in there. Yeah, yeah. I think I Speculations lean towards the possibility of the creepy maid manifesting in shadow form. The sensitive topic of euthanasia, or assisted dying, ignited debate with the controversial video, Stop the Horror. Featuring the final moments of a terminally ill cancer patient, it aimed to prompt discussion on individual choice in the face of immense suffering. It's all right. It's all right, Dad. However, the graphic nature of the video led to its removal from YouTube, sparking arguments about its purpose and ethics. Supporters lauded its authenticity, believing it exposed the realities of a painful illness and ignited conversations about autonomy and end-of-life care. However, critics expressed concerns about potential emotional harm to viewers and questioned the ethical responsibility of sharing such graphic content. This complex issue raises deeper questions about the right to choose how we die, the meaning of a dignified death, and the balance between individual freedoms and potential negative impacts. There have been reports of murder following a disagreement on TikTok, indicating a troubling development beyond disagreements over noise. Prosecutors asserting that in May of 2020, a young TikToker killed his neighbor after posting a string of violent videos online. Video shows the incident when 51-year-old William Durham, a prison officer, shows up with a number of his kids, allegedly with the intention of confronting Zachary Latham, 20, about what he posted on social media. Durham and his family are told to leave the area, but they go inside of Latham's garage instead, and a fight breaks out. Durham is tragically knifed to death by Latham during the struggle. After a drawn-out court battle, it's decided that Latham acted in self-defense, which ultimately results in his acquittal on all manslaughter-related charges. Not only can traffic cameras record traffic, but they can also pick up on more fascinating events. This CCTV clip, which was uploaded to YouTube in May 2008, shows a perplexing incident that begs the issue of exactly what happened. The uploader claims that there have been prior reports of similar sightings of odd creatures crossing the UK motorways, therefore 
This incident is not unique. The odd critter first appears in the footage as a car passes in the left lane of a northbound freeway along Wexix Way. The creature sees an opening and leaps and bounds across the road, shoving a rail into the oncoming lane of traffic. It barely avoids running into approaching cars. It's hard to tell exactly what shape it is, but it seems to have two or four legs, and it moves too quickly to make its identity obvious. It travels through four lanes in about four seconds, despite the speed. Diverse views exist regarding its identity. Some speculate that it might be a dog or a deer, but YouTuber Char Awar investigates further, reducing the video speed to 0.25 and scrutinizing every detail. Given its peculiar mobility and limb architecture, their investigation points to a more disturbing possibility, a deformed alien-human hybrid. Whether or not one agrees with this interpretation, the video should serve as a caution to drive carefully at night on UK motorways since you never know who you might meet. For fun, a YouTuber named Kodiak Morsky explores the ocean's depths in a quest of aquatic life. When he sees a big lobster, he comes over with a knife. But as he pursues, he gets farther into the underwater cave and loses sight of the way out. Watch as he scurries from crack to crack. Up getting turned around and lost in the hole, and basically came to the conclusion that I wasn't going to make it out alive. Despite looking for a way out, his breath is becoming scarce, so he tries several times to express his dread, almost drowning each time. Following a terrifying voyage, during which he swims in circles and muses over the idea of dying, Kodiak eventually finds his way out and comes out with a renewed respect for life. After seeing this video, think about any underwater survival techniques Kodiak may have used to get away faster and find his way around more quickly. As this video posted by Super Hunt Time Yahawk on Reddit illustrates, we frequently meet the most peculiar people when we take public transit. In the Hare Hill suburb of Leeds, England, we come across a woman who is making a lot of noise. The video doesn't provide much context, but it shows her smoking butane quite clearly, which is a very concerning practice. Whatever she was doing before the video was recorded, it resulted in her being ejected from the bus with force. A Reddit post shared by Siahir92 features footage of her prison door opening seemingly on its own. The video shows police officers reacting to the event, which appears to involve non-automated doors. This has sparked theories and discussions on Reddit about the cause, ranging from pressure differentials to potential paranormal activity. However, it's important to approach such claims critically and consider all possibilities before drawing conclusions. It's crucial to respect the power and danger of lightning, regardless of profession or location. While the odds of being struck are relatively low, taking precautions during storms is essential. This video captured a newscaster seeking shelter after lightning struck nearby, serving as a reminder of the importance of prioritizing safety over sensationalism. And where we are, this was not covered with water 30 seconds ago. Now you got a whole inch of water, so that's how fast the standing water can happen.
Jim Henson, renowned for light-hearted puppetry, ventured into darker territory with the organized mind. This innovative short film, blending live action and pre-recorded footage, navigated the intricate pathways of the human mind. Debuting in 1966 on The Mike Douglas Show, Henson described it as organizing the brain. Viewers were introduced to Limbo, a puppet embodying the abstract and often chaotic nature of thought. Accompanying him was the unsettling nightmare exclusive to this performance, adding a layer of darkness rarely seen in Henson's work. I've, um, I've learned to walk around inside my own head. You have to pass through the medulla oblongata. There goes some family thoughts. That's a great. Henson revisited The Organized Mind on The Tonight Show in 1968 and 1974, with the latter assisted by Dave Golas. These performances delved deeper into the complexities of human cognition, exploring the murky depths of our subconscious. Raymond Scott's eerie soundtrack further amplified the film's unsettling atmosphere. What makes The Organized Mind particularly intriguing is its use of puppetry, typically associated with lightheartedness to confront the human psyche's darker aspects. Limbo and the Nightmare force viewers to confront their own complexities, challenging them to consider the shadows that lie within. No, that isn't Santa Claus descending on your roof. The Vietnamese-speaking YouTube community has taken notice of this video, which Kim Yak Lan shared, but the original source is still unknown. The video shows an enigmatic, demonic-looking monster with menacingly glowing eyes sitting atop a tin roof. The creature is grinning menacingly as witnesses assemble to capture the bizarre sight, and its hand and fingers seem strangely deformed. What is this creature exactly? Why is it on the roof and for what purpose? And why are people here gathering to see it? Answers to the innumerable unanswered questions seem to be few. A frightening experience awaits tourists and hunters when they come across an agitated elephant that is obviously annoyed by them. The tour guide intervenes quickly in spite of the elephant's threatening demeanor, making an effort to defuse the situation by refusing to back down. In instances like this, it's critical to remain calm, refrain from making any abrupt moves, and recede gradually as to not exacerbate the animal's anxiety. Based on his prior experience managing such situations, the tour leader exhibits fortitude despite the elephant's repeated attacks. The tourists watch as the conflict between nature and humanity plays out in front of them. Breathless, the elephant eventually goes up trying to scare the hunters and visitors away. This video, filmed in Pompano Beach, Florida, captures an encounter between the kayaker and a hammerhead shark. The individual remains stationary while the shark swims in circles nearby. It's a hammerhead, dude! What's he doing? Shortly after, the shark approached another kayaker before moving away from the group altogether. He's coming after you now, Bennett. What is it? Wow. While the encounter likely caused some concern for those involved, it's important to remember that sharks are wild animals and interactions can be unpredictable. Watch this terrifying video from the 90s. A child is shown almost falling out of his seatbelt on a fast-moving slingshot ride at an amusement park. Travel at up to 160 kilometers an hour or 99 miles per hour is possible on this ride. When the child turns to Janice for help in a desperate moment, he is shocked to realize that she is not at all concerned. Instead, she laughs uncontrollably. Dashcam footage captures a chilling scenario of being at the wrong place at the wrong time. The video unfolds with the driver making a routine turn through a junction, only to be rudely interrupted by another driver performing a hasty merge, completely disregarding their presence. This blatant disregard for traffic rules and safety is a source of constant frustration for many drivers, often leading them feeling helpless as these offenders seemingly go unpunished. In this particular instance, however, justice prevails. Mm. 
an eagle-eyed police officer on a motorbike stationed at a distance witnesses the entire reckless maneuver. With flashing lights and sirens welling, the officer swiftly pursues the offender, their determination to uphold the law evident in their pursuit. While the reckless driver initially refuses to acknowledge the pursuit, eventually relenting and pulling over. The message is clear, recklessness has consequences. In February 2023, a tragic incident occurred in St. Paul, Minnesota involving a 65-year-old man and law enforcement. Police responded to a call about a potential threat. The man, Yai Zhang, reportedly experienced a mental health crisis and engaged with officers who attempted to de-escalate the situation. Hey, stop walking! Come here! Hey, come here! Unfortunately, the interaction did not result in a peaceful resolution, leading to Mr. Zhang's death. The incident continues to be investigated, and it's crucial to avoid drawing conclusions or assigning blame until all details are known. Witness the heart-stopping moment caught on camera when a man, burdened by heavy items, exits the elevator. Disaster strikes as the rope securing the item gets entangled within the elevator doors. Desperate to free himself, he frantically wrestles with the doors just as the elevator jolts to life, its ascent abruptly yanking him upwards. In a terrifying split second, the man loses his grip and plunges into the unforgiving darkness of the elevator shaft, leaving viewers gasping with disbelief and concern. Some drivers, intoxicated by the illusion of anonymity and speed, believe they can flout the law with impunity. Bus lanes, tempting arteries promising a shortcut through traffic congestion, become magnets for such reckless behavior. After all, the chance of getting caught seems slim, a gamble many are willing to take. This driver, weaving through the empty bus lane with a smug grin, likely falls into that category. And little does he know, karma, in the form of a vigilant police patrol, waits patiently up ahead. His fleeting victory, measured in seconds saved, will soon be eclipsed by the sting of a hefty fine and the deflated realization of his tardiness. How can one go up against a demon? Using holy water, YouTuber Nikolai, also known as Seeker of Ghosts, battles a bunch of demons that are hiding in the basement. <laughs> He applies the holy water to one location before moving on to the next, but not before the demon starts to play with the lights, making them flicker. Nikolai hears dark laughter in the ominous environment, but he can't tell if it comes from the demon or is caused by a paranormal gadget. Nikolai is undeterred by the mounting tension until he hears an even more terrifying sound, a roar that sounds as though it could come from the depths of hell. Thankfully, not every argument between uncooperative neighbors turns violent. They occasionally lead to very humorous circumstances. In this strange video, Dr. Mark Colson from Geelong, Australia, is seen cutting trees in his neighbor's yard without permission. It seems that the man, who the media eventually called Dr. Chop, had a history of acting this way. In an earlier video, Coulson can be seen knocking on the front door to see if anyone was home before going into the backyard to trim the greenery. The doctor denied having anything to do with the occurrence, even though it was well documented on camera. Many people who live nearby conjectured that he might have been trying to enhance his view of a park nearby. What a non-traditional strategy. 
This video depicts an incident of aggressive behavior on the road. It's important to remember that escalating conflicts while driving can have serious consequences for everyone involved. If you experience a similar situation, prioritize your safety and avoid engaging with the other driver. Instead, report the incident to the authorities. It's commendable that the police officer intervened in this situation. Law enforcement plays a crucial role in ensuring safety of all road users by addressing aggressive driving behavior. Could you endure a night at the most spine-chilling hotel on the planet? The Ghost Club Paranormal Team, featured on YouTube, embarks on a sleepover at the Goldfield Hotel and things take a hair-raising turn swiftly. Evidently, spirits respond to the presence. I like the lights. I, I like the lights. lights. When you moved your light away from there, it said, I like the lights. It was almost like it didn't want to be in the dark. Moments later, Mandy witnesses something unsettling. What did you just see? Dude, I just saw somebody. Walk by the room? It was like black black yeah. shadow outline. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, he hangs out good near the bus. I think he's the one that guards like, her. Right. As they gather in the foyer, their devices detect immediate paranormal activity. A present shares the room with them. What is it? What is that? There it is. What the f dude? In another part of the hotel, they capture a chilling electronic voice phenomenon, EVP, initiating a recording to communicate with a spirit named Olivia. They unveil her position. He came from just through that art. He came from just through that art. Olivia, can you tell us where you are right now? She's in there. Thank you, Olivia. We're going to come in, but please do not be afraid, okay? Upon playback, they discern multiple EVPs, including phrases like, yeah, and leave. Yeah, can you tell us where you are right now? Why would I, I didn't, did I say yeah? Yeah, recording. Yeah. If I heard my own voice speaking, I take that as a sign to exit promptly. Paranormal mimicry is no trivial matter, it often indicates something malevolent. A bison wanders leisurely through Yellowstone National Park, grazing near a couple observing from a safe distance. The bison approaches signage and seems curious, but it's unlikely to read. Yellowstone is home to a large bison population, currently estimated at around 6,000 individuals. New York's Hensdell House rose to fame during an exorcism that took place there in the 1970s. When the YouTube crew Paranormal XP visits this haunted place again, some of their viewers report seeing a face through the window while they investigate. Identify it, please. The kitchen, I heard. It just caught the corner of my eye. I heard that. I'm almost that like, yeah, like, some water. In the kitchen, I heard. It just caught it doesn't appear to be an internal reflection, whatever it is. In the kitchen, I heard it just caught the corner of my I eye. Heard like I'm almost that like out. Out. Some watering. It's disconcerting that I can see it as well. It looks like some kind of lurking demon to me. Ivan Carter visits a rhino farm with a native guide and they explore the vast area and come upon multiple black rhinos. A stressful and terrifying series of events ensues when they encounter an aggressive black rhino and its calf during their exploration. Luckily, following a perilously near encounter, the rhinos leave, sparing the crew members from harm. This Australian man's attempt to haul a heavy basket onto his boat seems to be unintentionally deterring a nearby shark. While the situation might raise some concern, 
The person filming, who is also Australian, finds amusement in the shark's cautious circling. YouTuber Sindri Levi investigates Iceland's eight most terrifying ghost houses. During his first visit, an unexpected balloon scare at one of the houses freezes him and his partner in terror. What are you doing? Glad you could join me. No. It's moving and there's no... We should go upstairs. Let's check out... The eerie atmosphere is heightened upstairs. Whole like roof here is just coming apart. You feel like you heard something. When Sindri arrives the next day with reinforcements, this house actually had a door, so I opened it up and this happened. <laughs> that is the creep. I'm opening it and I'm going away. <laughs> I'm like, run! <laughs> oh my, <laughs> a frilly. They proceed to the next home with a great deal of anxiety, but to their surprise, Nothing observable indicates that they have anything to fear. Whoa. Okay, this is a bit scary. Hello? Hello. Hello. I'm getting goosebumps. Okay, not scary at all. Bash some ghosts for me if you see them. What if the door would just like bang close? I think the sixth house seems the most intimidating, and it looks like the others do too. So we made it to house number six. It's not at all scary, as you can see. We're about to destroy any ghosts that get in our way. Right, G-Man? Uh, yep. Check this out. I thought that was a cat for a second. <laughs> wow, the echo. Hello? I am not scared. You are scared. This is very... I will warn you, the floor is collapsing. Whoa, I thought I saw something and I got goosebumps freaking everywhere. <laughs> We're aborting. Visit his channel to enjoy the whole experience. The eight scariest houses in Iceland don't have any poltergeist activity, yet the atmosphere is nonetheless incredibly eerie. This video captures an encounter between a Cape Cobra and a mongoose in South Africa. Cape Cobras are venomous snakes that require caution and respect. While their venom can be potent, seeking immediate medical attention is crucial in case of a bite. Mongoose species have a reputation for preying on snakes, but it's important to remember that wildlife interactions are unpredictable. Maintaining a safe distance from both the cobra and the mongoose is essential. An Indian village experienced a tense encounter with a leopard, leading to a widespread panic and close call. However, swift action and fortunate circumstances ensured no injuries were reported. YouTuber Mo Sarji discovers a potential stalker while exploring the abandoned Fairfield Hospital. The initial hint is an unsettling gut feeling. Yo, I'm getting so many bad vibes in this part of the hospital. In an empty room featuring only a chair in the center, Mo senses something amiss as he believes he hears faint sounds. I thought I heard somebody walking in here. I'm just going to stand here quietly. Is there anyone in this room? As they approach the eerie chair, the feeling intensifies. What a creepy chair. Why is there a creepy chair just sitting right here in the middle? Yeah. <laughs> they decide to confront the person together, but they might be too late. Hello? I heard some movement over here. While no one directly approaches them, they later catch a voice echoing in the darkness. Yeah. Shh, shh, shh. Stop moving. It's the homeless guy, he's freaking out. Someone just slammed a door over there. Despite never coming face to face with the alleged stalker, Mo senses a looming danger, prompting caution against further investigating whoever or whatever may be present.
Imagine the heart-stopping fear as a seemingly exhilarating cliff jump turns into a nightmare. The parachute tangles, throwing the jumper against the cliff. Escaping miraculously unharmed, he grapples with a torn chute, plummeting towards another cliff at 50 miles per hour. This chilling video, while showcasing incredible luck, serves as a stark reminder of the raw emotions and split-second decisions that define extreme sports. During the Gastown Grand Prix bike race in Vancouver, Canada, a safety incident occurred when a race official crossed the track as a competing vehicle approached. The contact between the car and the official resulted in her falling to the ground. Fortunately, no serious injuries were reported. This eerie farmhouse in Oxfordshire is abuzz with activity, as the YouTube team Real Evidence discovers early in their investigation. What? Yeah, I don't know what they are. Let's get down there, get out of here. Can you hear them all? Isn't that coming from outside? No, that's these. Initially, they speculated that the buzzing might be caused by bees in the walls. However, it turns out the source of the sound is a multitude of flies, including baby flies, on the ceiling. At the state of all those flies, baby flies on the ceiling. I'm not sure if you can hear that through our mics at the moment, but it sounds like... The team claims they didn't notice these peculiar flies when they first arrived. Truly. It is absolutely crawling with them. Demon flies everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how we did not notice that when we first came in here. And it appears as if a fly demon is presiding over his fly kingdom. It's your presence. He can knock for us, he can say something for us. Did you hear that? Later in their exploration, they encounter another unexplained sound. Let's tap again. Could it be the Lord of the Flies? Uh, that's my theory. And it seems like it's about to unleash a swarm of minions on them. New Yorkers are known for being able to put up with virtually anything. However, it's not every day you see a man react so casually to part of a seven-story building collapsing just a few feet behind him. He doesn't even take his hands out of his pockets. The incident happened in December 2023 on West Burnside Avenue in the Bronx. Though no reason for the partial collapse of the structure has been identified yet, the good news is that nobody was hurt during the incident. In October of 2006, 72-year-old David Lee Niles went to Jake's Bar in Bryantown, Michigan, a place he frequently visited, to meet up with a buddy. David would usually stay a couple of hours there, but this night took a surprising turn. David was told he had cancer earlier that year and left without warning, citing excruciating bodily agony. It was the last time that anyone had seen him. His family became worried and filed a missing persons report which sparked a statewide search that turned up no results. When his family finally came to terms with his absence in 2011, after five years of seeking, they posted an online obituary that said, David Lee Niles, age 72 of Wyoming, passed away and only God knows the time and place. In November 2015, almost 10 years later, a development in the case surfaced. While decking the company's outdoor Christmas tree, Brian Hausman, an employee at the Cook Funeral Home in Bryan County, saw something out of the ordinary. He caught sight of what seemed like a submerged automobile in a nearby pond at the upper left of the tree. Houseman called the police right away, and they sent a diving team to investigate after verifying the find on Google Maps. At the bottom of the pond, their search turned up an automobile, which a wrecking company eventually recovered. Authorities discovered David Lee Niles' wallet and skeletal remains inside. David's family at last experienced closure with the identification of his remains, although the reasons behind his disappearance are still unknown. David's cancer diagnosis made his previous history of severe depressed episodes worse. Suicide is a reasonable answer, but it's possible that we'll never know with certainty what exactly happened before he passed away. In a harrowing scene of bravery and quick thinking, firefighters in Georgia saved the lives of children trapped in a burning apartment in 2018. 
as flames engulf the building. The second floor burning. People look like they're trapped in there. And you said people look like they're trapped inside? Yes. I hear people screaming. <laughs> a desperate father tossed his toddler from a rescue ladder into the waiting arms of Captain Scott Stroop. Captain Scott Stroop looks up and says, just drop him. And the father dropped the child and Scott made an amazing catch. The image of the upside down child being caught safely is etched in memory. Fire Captain Jackie Peckrow also displayed incredible courage, catching a baby boy thrown from the inferno. Original plan was to get up on the balcony with them to assist them and have somebody else bring them down. And I got about halfway up and I look up and somebody was dropping a baby to me. Thanks to these heroes, no one suffered any serious injuries, highlighting the valuable role of first responders in moments of crisis. A video circulating online reportedly captured in the late 1990s or early 2000s, depicts an object near an aircraft. Some have labeled it a UFO, while others have offered alternative explanations. This specific video clip has been analyzed by individuals claiming expertise in computer-generated imagery, CGI, but their qualifications and methodologies remain unclear. The full video containing this clip is no longer accessible online, making further analysis and verification challenging. Situated in the UK, Antwerp Mansion has been the subject to numerous paranormal investigations within its confines. The YouTube team exploring the entity embarks on another exploration within the UK's most haunted mansion. As they step inside, one team member catches sight of a dark shadow swiftly moving past. I've just seen some black roll down here. I've just seen some black roll down here. While touring the premises, two distinct knocks reverberate through the air. Did you hear that? Then on the staircase, a whistle pierces the silence. What was that? I did. What was that? It's something, but. What was that? That's a whistle. Resembling a scream to some. After a brief pause, another mysterious sound captures their attention. Yeah, what was that? In a different room, a crew member perceives the creak of a floorboard, and according to some comments, a pronounced heavy breath is detected upon close listening. Oh! The floorboard creaked in here. As they descend the stairs, the sound of footsteps echoes prominently. Holy f Oh my Holy f Oh my I'll tell you something. I've left me camera. This mansion appears to host an extraordinary amount of paranormal activity. If I were part of this team, I might consider calling it quits at this juncture. On a hunting trip, Rob is looking for his lost boar when the animal unexpectedly approaches him. His wife had videotaped the encounter. Amazingly, he manages to grab hold of the wild boar with just his hands, bringing it under control and sparing others from damage. <laughs> Luckily, Rob survived the close call without suffering any serious injuries. A car hurtles down the road at a staggering 100 miles per hour, sirens welling in its wake. A thrilling pursuit involving a 19-year-old driver and a determined deputy from the Marin County Sheriff's Office. The incident, captured on the deputy's dashcam, unfolded when the driver blatantly ignored a red light, prompting the officer to initiate a traffic stop. But instead of pulling over, the young man chose a dangerous path, leading the deputy on a heart-stopping chase. The video reveals the tense moments as the car weaves through traffic, narrowly avoiding collisions at breakneck speed. At one point, the driver loses control, careening off the road, but even that doesn't deter him. 
The pursuit continues until a strategic maneuver by deputies corners the car at a gas station. Surrounded and with nowhere to go, the driver finally comes to a halt. Step out of the car. Turn around, face away from me. Put your hands up over your head. Over to your left. Get down on your knees. You got him? Atlanta PD officers faced a race against time, responding to a burning car with a trapped driver. Do everything we could uh, to get to him while the smoke and the fire was steadily build, building in the, in the engine area. The man, suffering a seizure, had crashed near a gas pump, heightening the danger. Despite the car's mangled doors, the officers acted with remarkable speed and skill, prying open the passenger side in mere minutes. Their swift intervention pulled the unconscious man to safety, a testament to their courage and the value of every second in such crucial situations. In a heart-stopping incident captured on camera in Vietnam in 2021, a toddler perched precariously on a 12th floor balcony took a terrifying plunge. But amidst the panic, a hero emerged. A quick-thinking delivery driver, acting as a guardian angel, positioned himself below and miraculously caught the falling child. Though the little girl sustained injuries, including a fractured hip, none were life-threatening, leaving everyone awestruck by the lucky escape and the bravery of the rescuer. A fire ripped through an apartment building in France in 2020, leaving two children trapped on a burning balcony. In a breathtaking display of community spirit, residents rushed to their aid, forming a human safety net below. Though unharmed by the fall, the children received treatment for smoke inhalation. Even more striking, several of the rescuers sustained fractured forearms during the catch highlighting the true meaning of selflessness and its sometimes painful consequences. Navigating through a 500-year-old graveyard is a prerequisite to reaching the expansive deserted Irish mansion. Matt, the YouTuber behind Finders Beepers History Seekers, undertakes this journey to unravel the mysteries enveloping a place with a notorious historical background. Upon arrival, the mansion exudes the classic aura of a haunted house, albeit now in a state of decay. See it through a camera, which is because I'm always using mine. So I'm just going to try and get straight over this middle bit and get in. Despite its dilapidation, the mansion's former grandeur remains striking. The sheer size of the structure adds a extra layer of eeriness. Wow! Look at that. So I'm guessing that's the, that's not even the that's not the entrance, is it? That's windows. That's shuttered windows. There's two fireplaces. Look, these are all the old shutters and doors and stuff. And then some new wood as well, like they looked like they were going to do it up. Yeah, look, that's new wood. While exploring, a viewer captures an enigmatic breath, unmistakably distinct from Matt's. Hearing what sounds like running feet, walking feet. It's perplexing. The origin of the sound remains unknown. Later, Another viewer records a peculiar grunt that also doesn't align with Matt's actions. Somebody just burped outside. Though no ghosts leap out with a resounding boo, the atmosphere in this place strongly resonates with a spiritual presence. I am convinced it's haunted, and the sounds we're hearing certainly aren't the mundane settings of the house. A breathtaking chain of events begins when hunters atop a tree stand observe a furious fight between two black bears. Watching the subsequent sequence in person is highly recommended, as it is both thrilling and unsettling. <laughs> Fortunately, there were no wounds sustained throughout the shocking and terrifying experience. A fight between AJ Owens and Susan Lorenz turned disastrous in June of 2022. After Owens approached her neighbor for allegedly shouting at her kids, Lorenz fired through the door, killing Owens. Officers are shown on body camera footage arriving at the area before the incident and making an effort to resolve the community conflict. Hello. 
Sheriff's office. Hi. What's going on this evening? When they first met with Lawrence, she claimed that Owens, the children's mother, has threatened her and that there have been instances of trespassing on her land. The officers speak with Owens and her family after getting her account. The kids apologize and say Lorenz constantly scolds and abuses them. You're okay. Every time, yeah. even if we're not on our property and we're just like, at, like being loud and playing basketball over there, playing the basketball. Game, I got you. Like she, she just calls us names. After the cops intervened, it seemed as though the situation had diffused. Sadly, AJ Owens lost her life to the neighborhood turmoil soon after, leaving her children without a mother. Compared to shootings, stabbings have increased in frequency in the UK due to the tighter gun laws. But because they are motivated by personal grievances, these attacks can entail an even higher discomfort. This pattern was demonstrated in a sad occurrence in 2022, when Dean Ossop, a father of three, was fatally stabbed 17 times by 48-year-old Jamie Crosby. The attack was allegedly caused by Ossop's motorbike noise. When the police arrived at the scene, as seen in the video, Crosby is seen leaving the victim's house with blood clearly visible on his face and hands. Even though the situation is serious, Crosby manages to maintain an eerie calmness while talking with the officers about what happened and getting treated for his wounds. Despite being charged with murder, Crosby exhibits unsettling satisfaction with the resolution. Oneida, New York ended September 2023 on a concerning note, not with another disturbing moment, but with an incident raising questions about safety protocols. A 17-year-old, just released from the hospital after severe intoxication, allegedly stole a car and crashed into a house, severing a gas line. The resulting explosion, captured on footage, sent a shockwave through the community. However, what made the incident even more alarming was the suspect's state. According to officers, even after the crash, he remained so intoxicated that he couldn't understand why he was being arrested. This raises concerns about his initial release from the hospital and the potential dangers individuals in such states pose. While it's not a typical disturbing moment, this incident highlights the need for robust systems to address public safety amidst potentially risky situations. Featured on EWT Clips, YouTuber Exploring with Tom detects an unsettling sound off camera, prompting him to retrieve their equipment. These data? Right, guys. <laughs> Right, Jay said he heard something down there. I heard the two. It sounded like something from down there. So I turned on the camera. Wait. <laughs> Venturing into the end of the hallway for an investigation, they managed to capture mysterious noises on camera. I don't know. Let's just go down and see what it is. If anyone's here, we might eat. Hello? Do you want to go down first? Their basement? Did you catch that? Listen closely. What's down there? A basement? The nature of the source remains ambiguous, but the eerie resonance suggests a potentially demonic presence. This S session is on the verge of turning chaotic. Rogues Hollow Paranormal, a YouTube team, is engaged in a session when one of their members encounters an unseen entity. Yeah, because I feel it behind me. Initially addressed by name, Trevor becomes the focal point for the entity's attention. Yeah, I, I feel it. Get off. You do not have permission to touch me. Subsequently, Missy also senses a presence behind her. Uh, yeah, I'm more of just like right on. As per the team's account, Missy experiences physical contact while Trevor endures three scratches on his back attributed to the entity. The intensity of these encounters makes this video particularly memorable. On May 2nd, 2022, near North Holden Street and East Locust Street, a car accident involving a marked Milwaukee police car occurred. While the details of the accident are not available, what followed was a heartwarming display of community spirit. Bystanders witnessed the aftermath of the accident and, without hesitation, rushed to help. Working together, 
they managed to flip the overturned police car back onto its wheels and assisted the officer in exiting the vehicle. Are you okay? I'm okay. Just hang out. 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 Thankfully, no one was injured in the incident. A dangerous 18-minute pursuit unfolded in August as police attempted to apprehend a 17-year-old driving a stolen car, reaching speeds of 132 miles per hour. It's right lane approaching Higgins, speeds 130, light traffic. The chase put lives at risk and stretched law enforcement resources, briefly losing sight of the vehicle. Where'd that car go? All right, now we're going to glide it up and get into the area. Down that way? Okay. Hey, uh, Victor, he said he took a uh, left turn. He went uh, south by the tracks here. Officers regained pursuit and ultimately apprehended the suspect on foot after he crashed. Facing multiple felony and misdemeanor charges, the incident serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of reckless driving and stolen vehicles. Felicia Konachuk felt a sense of approaching doom on February 17, 2021, which inspired her to make a TikTok video. She was living alone in a remote part of Russia with her boys, ages 4 and 14, when their neighbor Vasily Donet started hammering on their door nonstop. She was terrified. Felicia discusses her discomfort with the Donet's protracted knocking, which had been going on for about an hour in her final TikTok video. <laughs> Her little brother took cover, running from the menacing figure outside. Felicia was fatally shot in the head by 32-year-old Dunets, a known drunk neighbor who discharged his hunting rifle into their house shortly after she uploaded the video. Felicia sadly passed away from her wounds in spite of her father trying to get her to the hospital as soon as he got back from the store. YouTuber Call Me Chris and her partner Selena engaged in communicating with spirits through an app. They are startled by sounds behind them people in here. Did you just hear a guy yeah. cough? That I was back there. Dude just cleared his throat. <clears throat> yeah, literally sounded like someone was like <clears throat> During a test drawing session, Selena hears something in close proximity, and despite lacking direct sensory cues, Chris also senses a presence. Hello? Is that you? Analyzing Chris's drawings reveals something chilling. Decapitate the guy down in oh, the Oh, I hall. thought I was just scribbling for this. Nope. And then he wrote Jesse. I dreamt okay. about a guy named Jesse, which I saw a picture of in the fing room. You say? Yes. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Heightening the eerie feeling of being observed by the unknown. It's weird because like I can't. I don't even. Did you guys hear that? Can you shine your light over there? Dude, it's As they venture outside, a flash of light in one of the prison's upper windows raises questions. That, there's a massive flash. Like, just randomly right here. Like, it was like... Somebody, on the building? It was like somebody took... It, it, it looked like somebody took a photo through the window. Could someone else be monitoring this haunted penitentiary? The nature of this observer, whether human or demonic, remains uncertain, but a pervasive sense of being watched persists. No matter what color uniforms they wear or what symbols they wear, law enforcement personnel always run the risk of being seriously injured when performing their responsibilities. Though hostilities rage in faraway nations, People who prioritize the safety of others face danger closer to home. Officer Tyler Stewart of Flagstaff responded to a domestic violence incident on the 800 block of West Clay Avenue on Saturday, December 27, 2014 in the afternoon. Officer Stewart's arrival at the scene in his patrol car, prepared to assist, is captured on body camera footage. When Officer Stewart arrives, he goes to the house where the call came from and talks to Robert Smith about what happened earlier with him and his girlfriend. Everything seems to be going okay, until Officer Stewart asks to search Smith for weapons just to be safe. This is when Smith unintentionally pulls a gun and opens fire at Officer Stewart at close range. Sadly, Smith then pulls the trigger, ending his own life. Officer Stewart is taken to Flagstaff Medical Center and declared dead after he passes away from his wounds in spite of efforts to revive him. 
On June 8, 2023, 30-year-old Aaron Dunlop embarked on a three-hour drinking spree in Norton's Georgian Dragon Pub. Arriving in his Audi at 6.30 p.m., he left briefly but returned, downing drinks until closing at 9.30 p.m. Fueled by excessive alcohol, Aaron recklessly sped away in his car along the A1027. Meanwhile, on the same road, Paul Greenfield, a dedicated father of three, headed home from his work on his motorbike. The ensuing collision was devastating. Aaron's car struck Paul's bike, tragically causing his death. Instead of offering aid, Aaron callously fled the scene, even attempting to disappear at the airport. Thankfully, justice prevailed. Apprehended and charged, Aaron now faces 12 years in prison, a harsh consequence for his actions that shattered a family and served as a grim reminder of the dangers of drunk driving. Watch this video to see how a man used cunning and a combination of luck to pull off a daring escape from law officials. The person starts chasing at a fast rate of speed through the streets, showing off their ability to handle traffic. He hits it lucky at a busy crossroad, slicing past the mayhem and leaving distinctive tire prints in his wake. Making use of a protracted burnout, he puts a good amount of distance between himself and the officers who are chasing him. The police choose to follow the traffic laws and stop at red lights in order to avoid any collisions, displaying concern for the safety of the general population. When the police look confused, the person takes advantage of the opportunity to disappear. A 2017 Six Flag visit turned into a nightmare for a family when a 14-year-old girl dangled from the sky ride. Her neck is stuck! Moments of pure terror unfolded as her young brother watched helplessly, but amidst the chaos, a guardian angel emerged. Matthew Howard, along with his daughter Leanne, stood position below, ready to act. Glad my daughter is with me. I'm glad this young was there trying to help. The scene, captured on Leanne's phone, showed the agonizing weight and the dramatic fall before Matthew heroically caught the girl. God dropped an angel. We all saved her. <laughs> While both were briefly injured, the story ultimately became one of incredible bravery and fortunate relief. First responders in Arkansas successfully intervened in a critical situation, saving the life of a choking three-week-old baby. He's breathing. Is he it breathing? looks like he's holding his breath. Police body cam footage documented the emotional event, where the child's struggles and eventual recovery were visible. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. You're okay. Oh, buddy. There's them eyes. <laughs> Officer Cody Hubbard, present at the scene, expressed his satisfaction at the positive outcome. You know, to, to see how that came out and just the, the look in their eyes once their baby started crying, you know, I'll never forget something like that. Imagine the terror of being surrounded by two cars full of potential assailants. That's the chilling reality a 27-year-old victim faced in Chicago as captured on CCTV. Parked and unsuspecting, the driver was blocked by the approaching vehicles, leaving no escape. Before they could react, at least three armed individuals emerged, threatening the driver with firearms. Despite attempts to reason, the victim was forcibly removed from their car and left helpless on the road with their hands bound. Adding to the horror, the cars simply continued driving by, seeming oblivious to the unfolding ordeal. Thankfully, the incident was captured on camera, offering a crucial tool for police to track down the perpetrators and hopefully bringing them to justice. In late January 2017, Elaine Park, an aspiring actress, went to the movies with her on and off lover. Around 1 a.m., they took an Uber back to his residence and shortly thereafter, both fell asleep. But Elaine woke up in the wee hours of the morning in a panic, and she left around 6 in the morning in spite of her boyfriend's protest. She hasn't been seen since then. Elaine's mother became more concerned the day after she vanished and reported her missing. Elaine's automobile was discovered on the highway five days later, around a half an hour's drive from her boyfriend's house. Her purse, wallet, and cell phone were still inside the car, but oddly, the door was unlocked and the keys were still in the ignition. Bloodhounds and drivers searched the region extensively, but they were unable to locate Elaine. 
After gathering surveillance footage from Elaine's boyfriend's home, authorities focused their attention on him, though the first analysis of the video seemed to support him. There were concerns over the third one. Notably, Elaine does not enter her car as this recording ends abruptly. Furthermore, there are two distinct and identical shadows that appear simultaneously in the same location in both the video where Elaine leaves and the video where the couple leaves together. Some have theorized that the boyfriend may have edited himself out of the two tapes, making them one and the same. These shadows keep appearing, which begs the question, who or what is responsible for the appearance if no one is present? December 3rd, 2023, around 5.09 a.m., police officer Deco and his partner, police officer Richard Gonzalez, were dispatched to 467 Beach, 22nd Street, Queens, in response to a 911 call. Upon reaching the scene, Officer Deco and Officer Gonzalez found 38-year-old Courtney Gordon standing in front of the address. The officers initiated a conversation with Gordon to gather information about his presence there. However, during the questioning, Gordon retrieved a knife from his back pocket using his right hand and proceeded to attack the officers. Officer Deco sustained a stab wound on the left side of his neck while Officer Gonzalez was stabbed in his left temple. In response, Officer Deco fired five shots from his service firearm at Gordon. Tell me. You live here? Yeah. Where you live? I'm trying to go somewhere. Yeah. Unfortunately, we are unable to display the violent content due to YouTube's guidelines. Gordon was hit by the gunfire and fell to the ground. He was then taken by ambulance to Nassau University Medical Center, where he was pronounced dead. Officer Deco and Officer Gonzalez were transported to Jamaica Hospital Medical Center for treatment of their injuries. Further investigation uncovered that prior to the altercation with Officer Deco and Officer Gonzalez, Gordon had stabbed five members of his family inside 467 Beach, 22nd Street. The casualties include two minors, an 11-year-old girl and a 12-year-old boy. The 11-year-old girl was discovered lying in a pool of blood in front of the residence. Despite being rushed to the hospital, she succumbed to her injuries. Additionally, two other victims have been identified, a 44-year-old woman and a man in his 30s. A 61-year-old woman sustained severe injuries from multiple stab wounds and is currently undergoing treatment. Local media reports suggest that Gordon, a homeless individual, had been provided shelter by his aunt in her own home. Little did she know that Gordon would respond to this act of kindness with a brutal act of mass violence. Uploaded and covered by YouTube channel Fact Faction is a chilling video of a woman walking by a bus stop before experiencing the scariest experience of her life. As the woman is nearing the bus stop, she loses her balance and tumbles backwards into the street. As she falls, the bus drives by and narrowly misses her. A person down the street and the next driver check to make sure she's alright. Many speculate she was lightheaded during the incident. Nonetheless, I'm glad that the bus missed her and she's okay. Thanks for watching. Stay vigilant, friends.